Leroy's Pokemon Blue Walkthrough, Part 29. What's going on, gang? Welcome back to Lavender Town, the happiest place on Earth. Yeah, I mean, just listen to this music. Doesn't this just put you in the greatest mood ever? Um, but yeah, recently we got the Sylph Scope from Celadon City. We broke into the Game Corner, where the Rockets had their hideouts, and we defeated Giovanni. Um, so as a reward, we got the Sylph Scope. And as Oak will tell you, Leroy, this isn't the time to use that. Yeah, how am I getting advice from Professor Oak? I'm miles away from Pallet Town, but somehow he's still telling me that I can't use the Soul Scope. But yeah, today we're going to go into the Pokemon Tower, where the souls of many dead Pokemon rest. So yeah, that's... All you gotta do is put that on a sign and everyone will come storming in. Like, oh yeah, let's go to the tower where all the dead Pokemon spirits are at, but... Yeah, this isn't our first visit to the Pokemon Tower. We already came up to this point and defeated our rival earlier when we first made it to Lavender Town. Because his Raticate died and he was coming to pay his respects, but... Yeah, now that we have the Sylph Scope, we can go all the way up to the top. Um, and this lady says, We cannot identify the Wayward Ghosts, however, a Sylph Scope may be able to unmask them. And now that we have the Sylph Scope, we can pretty much completely go through the Pokemon Tower to the top. And I'm gonna quickly spray some Repel here. Even though there's not grass anywhere, you can still run into wild Pokemon, mainly Ghastly. Yeah, you guessed it, a ghost type. You can also find the evolved form Haunter in here, which is pretty rare, and there's also Cubone available if you want a ground type. However, in yellow version, you can't find Cubone until like the fifth floor or something, but regardless, there are Cubone in here. Um, but yeah, check it out, we got a zombie lady right off the bat, she's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. not even like spitting out real words, just like weird animal-like sounds. Yeah, these are the Chandlers, pretty much the creepiest of creepy people out there in the Pokemon world. I mean, all these people just gather in the Pokemon Tower where all the dead Pokemon are. Yeah, kind of a weird place to hang out, right? And, um, they all have Gassies on their team, so I'm gonna try out an Ember here. Um, uh, not really surprising to do too much. He's gonna use a lick on me, oh no. The most powerful move ever, lick. But yeah, I'll switch out here. Ghastly has really good special stats, so it can take embers pretty well. Um, however, it is weak to Psychic and Ground, because it's part Poison type. Um, but it can do that! It can use Confuse Ray, which makes these things so annoying to deal with. Um, but let's go with the Psychic. Yeah, Confusion, I- Psychic only has 10 power points, but it should be fine. There we go! Finally got to use um, the most powerful Psychic type move in the game. Yeah, I think it was TM29, which I picked up in Saffron City on my way back to Lavender Town. So yeah, I would highly recommend you do that um, once you get the fresh water in Celadon City. Once you have access to Saffron, go ahead and get the Psychic TM. And once again, she'll tell you that you can use the Sylph Scope to identify the Ghost type Pokemon. And right there, you can grab an escape rope, so yeah, if I find any more creepy zombie channelers that are trying to, like, rip my head off, I can use the escape rope and get out. Alright, let's talk to you. Be gone, evil spirits! Yeah, that's probably, like, one of the most normal things you'll hear any of the channelers say, so yeah. Expect to get some crazy dialogue through here, which is always kind of fun. But yeah, we've got more Ghastly, so... I think I'll just keep switching out. Vulpix can't really do anything for itself. Vulpix is going to be pretty worthless until I evolve it into Ninetales, but for now I can always go over to Soul Eater and use Psychic. Um, it's going to use a Lick. It doesn't affect Soul Eater. Well, that's confusing. I don't know why it doesn't affect me. Um, Lick is a Ghost type move, and I'm a Psychic type. Lick is actually like the only Ghost type move. Um, other than Nightshade that actually like does damage based on something other than your level. So yeah, Ghost Types didn't really have any good moves until um, later generations when they added Shadow Ball and... Well, that's pretty much the only one anyone cares about, but yeah. Anyways, here's another channeler! That sounds like it should be like what a Pokemon is saying. Like, Kikikikiki? That sounds like it should be a Pokemon's cry. Not words uttered out by a human being. But anyways, Chandler wants to fight, so... Let's go ahead and take down another Ghastly. Um, but yeah, if it's your first time playing, don't try using normal or fighting type moves. They will not work against ghosts, obviously. They will go right through the ghosts, but don't worry, you can still use water, fire, psychic, all of that good stuff. And apparently Link doesn't want to do any damage to Hypno. I'm not going to complain about it, but I really don't know why. I didn't realize ghost was didn't work against psychic in first generation. I don't know, maybe that's something I just didn't know. I don't know, is that a fact or am I just seeing hella glitches in the game right now. Um, anyways, whatever. Hmm, what am I doing? What, did she just snap back to reality and realize she's not like a psycho zombie? Um, yeah, so that's it for the first floor of the trainers in the Pokemon Tower, and I guess there's a shortcut you could have taken down here, but 
Regardless, whatever, I'm probably gonna fight all the trainers anyways. So, next floor, we got more channelers. Yeah, it's pretty much all you're gonna find in here. Be cursed with me! Why would I want to be cursed with you? Like, is that is that like supposed to be an appealing option for me? Like, yeah, let's let's hang out at the Pokemon Tower for the rest of our lives and just be cursed together. Why not, right? Um, but yeah, still trying to get McLeod up levels by taking down Ghastly, so... Yeah, I think Ghastly kind of has a ridiculous sprite in first generation. I mean, the fact that someone was paid good money to put that on the screen is kind of just embarrassing. I feel like a two-year-old designed that by just taking a pencil and, like, mashing it on a piece of paper for two minutes. But yeah, the, the yellow version sprite for Ghastly looks a lot cooler. It looks a lot more like what Ghastly should look like. Yeah, this one I always just got a kick out of it, like big eyes, fangs, and like a bunch of just dots behind it. Um, but yeah, we got another Ghastly, so let's go back to McCloud. Um, I love Ghastly's cry too, never gets old, but yeah, I would use a uh, Ghastly on my team, but to fully evolve it into a um, Gengar from Haunter, you actually need to trade just like Machamp and Golem and all those Pokemon, so yeah, unfortunately I don't have trading capabilities on an emulator. Um, so I can't use a Ghastly. But let's take care of this now, because I might as well do it. Let's put Psychic up to the front, and hopefully I snap out of confusion! <laughs> no, not happening today. And at least, I, at least I'm somehow avoiding the tongue of Ghastly. For whatever reason, he's not able to lick me, so yeah, I'm avoiding a bunch of hits from Lick. I seriously did not know that Ghost didn't work against Psychic. Maybe that's just because there's hardly any Ghost-type moves, but I don't know. Whatever, I don't know if these are just glitches ha happening in the game, or if I'm just crazy or what, but... Yeah, apparently Lick does not work against Hypno. Um, but there we go, I'm up to level 29, so... Yeah, right on, I did take kind of a beating, though. Um, but luckily there is a healing spot about midway through the Pokémon Tower. We can't crack the identity of the ghost! Yeah, that's what everyone's talking about in here. Um, there's an elixir right there, and let's go ahead and battle this person. Hoo hoo hoo! Beat me not! Yeah, she's got like some straight Yoda dialogue going on there, like, Beat me, you shall not! But yeah, anyways, there's another channeler. They seem to always just have one Pokemon, and that Pokemon is usually a Ghastly, so... Um, yeah, well, like I said earlier, Ghastly is weak to Psychic and Ground, so since Soul Leader got up a level and it's kind of banged up, let's bring out, uh, Sandslash and let him do some work, let him take down some Ghastlies. Let him get confused right away in battle. Oh yeah, that's my favorite thing ever. Um, alright, I'll go to Dig. Actually, it's kind of annoying, because, yeah, if you're confused, you have to avoid confusion, like, twice in a row. You have to use Dig. And then you have to, like, be underground and not hit yourself again in confusion, so... Yeah, it's kind of like twice the chance that you'll hit yourself in confusion. But anyways, I snapped out, so there we go. And... Yeah, don't you just love digging holes in, like, towers that are, like, multiple stories high? Apparently I'm just digging right back down to the floor below me. But there we go, it's gonna take out the Ghastly. Huh? Who? What? She's probably surprised that her Ghastly doesn't have the Levitate ability! Yeah, in any other game, you would never be able to use Dig on a Ghastly. And there's an Awakening! I definitely could have used that earlier in the uh, Celadon City Gym, but... Yeah, I, I have a lot more bag space now. I cleared up a lot of my bag space. There's an HP up. I think I'm just going to use that now. But yeah, I put a lot of old items like in my PC that I don't need. And let's use that on Vulpix. Why not? New, newest member on my team deserves a little bit of a reward. And let's use another Repel. Don't want to run into wild Ghastlies and Cubones and Haunters, so... Yeah, I actually like uh, Cubone a lot. One of my favorite ground types is Marowak. Um, more, more ridiculous dialogue. People, when, when they just say Qua, I'm just like scratching my head confused. But yeah, I do like Marowak a lot, but I did want to get a Sand Slash. I like the fact that Sandshrew is available way earlier on in the game. Um, Cubone's really cool though. You wouldn't regret using a Marowak on your team. But anyways, same routine. We're switching out and back to Sand Slash again. Yeah, too bad I can't just use Slash on them, because normal types don't work, and just... Wow, Chandlers love confusing my Sand Slash. This is just... I feel like this is just going to be a trend. And you know what? Dig, just because it takes two turns, let's use Rock Slide instead. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> Was that not the most ridiculous thing you have ever heard slash seen in your life? Like, what was that? I don't remember the last time I used Rock Slide. In first generation, it must have been when I was younger. That was the most ridiculous, absurd thing I've ever seen. Now I just want to keep using Rock Slide to watch that again. Like, 
Was that really- did that really just happen? That was supposed to be me using Rock Slide? Like... I don't know, man. First generation is just ridiculous. But anyways, right down there is the healing spot, which I'll hit up right after this battle. Right after I use Rock Slide a few more times. You shall join us. Oh no! The cult following of channelers wants me to like... You, I wouldn't want to join them just because I feel like there'd be some really creepy like initiation ceremony where they'd probably sacrifice like 12 babies or something. You know, I just don't really want to be a part of this whole cult thing going on here. Um, but yeah, let's go back over to Sandslash and use Rock Slide. That was the most awesome move I've ever seen in my life. Um, oh, and of course I gotta get confused. Yeah, don't expect to send Sandslash out unless he's gonna get confused. But yeah, let's go with another Rock Slide. No, I missed! I wanted to see it so bad! Alright, Nightshade. That'll put me down to 44 hit points, because it does the amount of damage equal to your level, just like Seismic Toss. Let's go! This is just... Oh my gosh, dude! There's, like, weird little robot sounds. Like, all I'm doing is throwing rocks or whatever, and apparently just all these little, like, computer robot-y sounds. It's just, it's just ridiculous. But look at that! Vulpix is up to level 28! And I'm learning Confuse Ray! That's awesome! Now I have the power in my own hands to confuse everyone. Alright, it's the most annoying move in the world to have happen to you, but great to use on other people. Oh, um, I loved using Confuse Ray with my Crobat when I um, did my Heart Golden Soul Silver walkthrough. And yeah, now I'm gonna have it on Ninetales, which is gonna be cool. And what a nightmare, she says. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and... Yeah, this healing spot right here, it's free, you can just step right in there and heal up your Pokémon, which is kind of awesome. So yeah, just like that, you enter the purified zone and your Pokémon are fully healed. Yeah, this lady's like, come child, I sealed this space with white magic! Yeah, you can rest here. You know what, now that I read that, like, now that I'm not really comfortable coming to this spot, like, if someone says, Come child, I sealed this space with white magic, you can rest here! Like, oh yeah, I'm definitely just dying to come Rest in your white magic purified zone what, with crazy zombie ladies all around watching over me. Like, look at this! Give me your soul! She is seriously coming to my face, I've never met her in my life, and she says, Give me your soul. Yet, I feel the need to keep walking through the Pokemon Tower. Like, if I didn't- if this wasn't a game and I didn't know I need to go up to the top, then I would just be running out of here, man. These people are way too crazy. Um, but here's our first encounter with a Haunter, the vol evolved form of Ghastly. Um, so yeah, let's go back over to Gara. Even though Ghastly doesn't evolve to level 25, um, this person has a level 23 Haunter. And once again, I am getting confused. Every single time, why can't they just use Lick or something? But yeah, let's go with some more Rock Slide action. Dang it, it missed! Yeah, I'm gonna have so much fun. I'm so glad I taught him Rock Slide. I'm gonna have so much fun just watching that move happen on the screen and listening to the sounds. Like, what is this? How did they come up with that for Rock Slide? Like, Alright, let's come up with a sound for rocks getting thrown at a Pokemon. And yeah, they, then they put that into the game. Um, but yeah, I guess Haunter is a little bit more tough than uh, Ghastly. He didn't live the first Rock Slide, but all that means is that I get to use Rock Slide again, which is awesome. So yeah, there we go. Wow, that's just, that just baffles me. That has to be the most ridiculous, like, sound and animation for a move in the history of Pokemon, I swear. Um, uh, but anyways, yeah, we might as well, well, I guess I have to step in the purified protection zone, the white magic, get my Pokemon healed. Um, so yeah. ZOMBIES! I knew there were zombies in here, I knew it! Yeah, half these channelers must be zombies, because they don't even speak words, they just say things like, Urgwa, you know, just complete gibberish. They sound like they should be dead Pokemon squealing or something, but anyways, back to Gara, my Sand Slash. Hopefully I don't get confused again, but... Definitely itching to use some more Rock Slide. Um, yes! Finally! I don't get confused! I got licked, though. Oh, and I'm paralyzed! Dang it! Yeah, that's something- apparently getting licked can paralyze you, and now I'm confused. It was bound to happen, it was bound to happen. Now I'm confused and paralyzed, but I can still pull off the Rock Slide! Yeah, baby! Alright, there we go. I just- that- I- I can't get over it. I will be- Going off about this rock slide thing for the rest of the walkthrough, I swear. Um, yeah, there we go. The zombie lady has been defeated, but yeah. White magic! I'm all healed up again! Yeah, this place is pretty awesome. Just step in there, boom, healed up. Um, let's grab this item right here. It's a nugget! Yeah, worth $5,000 when you sell it to the Mart. And I think we might just finish off the video with another zombie lady! 
Yeah, these people are just completely absurd. I don't know, like, they, met, they must have just gotten lazy at this point with the narration and the game dialogue. Like, alright, we can't think of anything interesting for her to say. Let's just put erg, qua, oof on the screen. Um, let's actually go to Soul Eater, though. As much as, I, as, much as I'm loving um, using Rock Slide, I kind of want to have Hypno get a shot at taking down a Haunter, so... Yeah, now he has to get confused. I mean, that's all they do, apparently, is use Confuse Ray. Apparently, they have four moves, and they're all Confuse Ray. Um, but I'm gonna get the Psychic off anyway, so there we go. I like how Psychic makes the whole screen, like, go all wobbly and shake around. It's kind of cool. But yeah, it's gonna take down the Haunter. Um, so there we go. Took down Chandler. And Soul Eater got his shot at, uh, um, the Evolved Form of Ghastly, so that's awesome. Anyways, that's gonna finish it off for um, this floor with the healing zone, and my repel wore off, but um, yeah, there's still a few more floors to cover here in the Pokemon Tower, but I think this is a pretty good stopping point. We've covered um, quite a bit in this video, taking down a lot of zombie channeler crazy ladies, but yeah, I guess tomorrow on Sunday, the next video, we'll continue going up the Pokemon Tower and hopefully finish things up. So thank you all for watching, everybody. Um, I hope you all got as much of a kick as I did with that rock slide, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching again.